Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode where we take a deep dive into the world of agriculture and natural wonders. Today, we are about to uncover the secret behind one of the most talked about plants in the world, aloe vera. This is not just a trend, which is a global phenomenon. From skin care to medicinal remedies, aloe vera is making waves. And I'm here to show you how to produce aloe vera on a large scale to meet the world's growing demand. And in particular, we will set foot in Mexico, where a huge amount of aloe vera gel is produced to serve global demand. Mexico is a country with an arid tropical climate, perfect for the growth of aloe vera. The soil here is sandy, well-drained, ensuring the aloe vera roots are not waterlogged. Regions like Tamaulipas and Chiapas are paradise for aloe vera. First, it is necessary to treat the soil before planting. Proceed to clean up grass, wild plant roots, and other plant debris. Plow and dry the soil to eliminate harmful fungi and bacteria. Growing aloe, Vera begins with carefully selected young shoots from the mother plant. These seedlings not only ensure uniformity and quality, but also help the plants grow stronger. Workers will plant these young shoots in rows, ensuring enough distance so they receive enough light and grow optimally. In 2023, Mexico will have about 30,000 acres of aloe vera planted, ranked third in the world, only behind India and China. Each tree is carefully cared for, from fertilizing to watering, to ensure the tree is always in the best condition. After about 18, 24 months, they will be ready for harvest. By this stage, aloe vera has reached maturity, with plump leaves filled with precious gel. Harvesting cannot be done mechanically because it requires meticulousness and precision, so as not to damage the plant and keep the gel inside intact. Workers will carefully cut each old leaf, starting from the base of the tree. This not only helps protect the plant from damage, but also ensures that the plant can continue to produce gel for future seasons. Harvesting aloe vera should take place in the early morning or late afternoon, when the temperature is not too high. Do not harvest too many leaves at the same time, because it will affect the growth of the plant. You should only take three to four leaves per plant at a time. In 2023, Mexico will produce about 270,000 tons of aloe vera. The majority of this production comes from the state of Tamaulipas, which alone produces more than 166,000 tons. Other major producing states include Veracruz with about 63,000 tons and Puebla with nearly 12,000 tons. Not only that, the aloe vera industry also creates thousands of jobs for people in rural areas, contributing significantly to the local economy and helping to improve the lives of many families. After harvesting, aloe vera leaves are quickly transported to processing factories. Speed is the important factor here. If not used immediately, aloe vera leaves can be stored in the refrigerator. Wrap the leaves in plastic wrap or place in an airtight bag to retain moisture. The ideal temperature for storage is from 4-8 degrees sacks, helping the leaves stay fresh for 1-2 weeks. Once the aloe vera leaves are delivered to the factory, 
Processing begins immediately. First, the leaves will be thoroughly cleaned to remove dirt and impurities. This is not only to wash away dirt, but also to remove any traces of a loin, a yellow substance that can irritate the skin. This is an important step to ensure that the aloe vera gel will be of the purest quality. Then the leaves are split lengthwise, either by hand with sharp knives or using specialized equipment. Have you noticed? No one touches this without gloves and an apron. Safety comes first, as even the smallest trace of a loin can irritate our skin. The gel can be extracted manually with a spoon or flat spatula, or by machine with a roller and brush. Either way, they take great care to get every drop without ruining the quality. Okay, now we have the gel, but it's not ready yet. It must go through a filtration process to remove any leaf fragments, a loin, or other impurities. It can be by mesh filtration, centrifugation, or ultrafiltration, depending on the purity and consistency of the final product. And this is where the magic happens. From soothing cosmetics to nutritious beverages, this process creates a wide range of products available in stores worldwide. Cosmetics, health supplements, beverages, you name it, aloe vera is in it. And did you know that Asia Pacific is the largest market? With high demand in places like China and India, aloe vera is becoming more popular than ever. In addition, products from Mexico are exported to many major markets such as the United States, Canada and Europe. With the growing demand for natural and organic products, Mexico's aloe vera industry is sure to continue to grow strongly. Improvements in farming and processing techniques are helping to improve product quality, and new research is opening up potential uses for aloe vera in a variety of fields. Thank you for accompanying me on the journey from aloe vera plant to product. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episodes about the magical natural world. See you in the next video. Keep exploring and keep your curiosity.